This episode of the podcast is going to show you how to do a sample problem when balancing an equation. If you have not done so, you should probably watch the introductory video on how to balance equations if you have not done so. In the equation that's on the screen, we can analyze it for the different chemicals that do make up that particular reaction. First, we see we have aluminum. Aluminum metal, and that's being added to atmospheric oxygen, which is O2, diatomic oxygen. And that then forms the compound that you can see here is aluminum oxide. As we did in class, it's very important before trying to solve a chemical equation and make sure it's balanced to fit the law of conservation of mass. We should draw our graphic organizer. We underline our equation and draw the tail of the T at the arrow and list all of the elements involved in our chemical reaction for both products and reactants. And then determine how many of each element is represented in atoms. There's one aluminum and two oxygen in our reactants, two aluminum and three oxygen in aluminum oxide. The next step is to plan how to use coefficients to balance this equation. As we see, we have an even number of oxygens in our reactants and an odd number of oxygens in our products. The easiest way to solve this is to use a number that is in common to both those numbers to make oxygen in the products even. I need to multiply that by an even number. The lowest number I can think of is 2, which would make oxygen 6. It also changes aluminum, right? Because 2 times aluminum oxide gets me 2 times 2 aluminum, which equals 4 total aluminum atoms. That means I need to change the number of aluminum in my reaction for the reactants. I need 4 aluminum atoms, changing my total count on the reactants to 4. That now balances. However, I still need to balance my oxygens. I have 2. But if I multiply it by 3, and using a coefficient, I now have 6. This is a balanced equation. 4 aluminum plus 3 oxygen molecules gets me 2 aluminum oxide compound. This concludes this episode of the podcast.